What is going on everybody? It's me, Solo Bricks 501 here coming at you with another LEGO Star Wars video. And today I am going to be showing you guys my LEGO polybag collection. It's not Star Wars um exclusively Star Wars. It's it's personally just my me picking up figures or um just different polybags that I'd like. Um, and I collected these quite a while ago. I think most of these that I collected were around like um, whenever, whenever stuff like this would come out, I kind of just tried to snatch it. I remember one time, this, I remember getting this at like a five and below. Um, but yeah, I got this so long ago. It's a Lone Ranger. Sorry, I kind of got, got a little too excited. It's a Lone Ranger, like a little car. I would usually get two of them. And I would open one. I haven't looked up any worth for these. So I don't know how much these are worth now. But some of them might not be worth a lot. But some might be. But this is a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, which is really cool. Ninjago. Then I have a long but forgotten Lego Chima. With a... Uh, Auras. Really cool. I bought two of these but when it came out. I opened one. That's usually what I would do. Or if I saw an extra one. And then we have this guy. Kylo Ren's command shuttle. Really cool. Really tiny. I don't know how many I have. But I have a good amount. This guy from the Lego Ninjago movie. Um, I haven't seen the Lego Ninjago movie, but I need to. But I picked this guy up when that came out. We have another Ninjago, but it's Masters of Spinjitzu. Kai's Drifter. Um, really, really cool. I also bought two of these. And then we have Naboo Starfighter. Super cool as well. I just love poly bags. They're just so cool. Arc. Um, 170. This has to be one of my favorite ones. Just the look of it. Just the overall, like, build. Same with these. I love the mini builds of the ships. Just so cool. You know, I wish I got two of these. I only got one. But, um, this one looks cool as well. I just love it so much. Like, these two are among my favorites. Then we have the TIE Advanced Prototype really cool from star wars rebels i love the build for this Ooh, i got another goodie right here we have the first order star destroyer really awesome none of these have been even attempted to be open i just was so strict on even when i was like i think i was whenever this came out i was 14 when this came out i think and i'm 19 right now so i kind of like I was, I was making sure I didn't open those. Then we have this, which is Electro from the Lego Spider-Man, or the Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, gosh. Really cool, just the figures. I love the figure ones. Then we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mikey's mini uh, shell racer. Super, super awesome as well. Then I have the only Lego Creator one I have, which uh, is just a car, just a chill car. And this is not my last one, but I do have First Order General. I remember when this came out, I had to get it. I was just so excited to get this. And I got it, I think I got it at Toys R Us, either Toys R Us or Walmart. But again, super cool. Even though he's just, he's just kind of a plain figure, but it's cool, so, still cool to have him in his packaging, um, all safe and sound collection. Last but not least is Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. This has to be one of my favorites. I just love uh, Jedi Interceptors. Jedi Interceptors are one of my favorite um, Lego builds. Just They're all so cool. And it just makes me so happy to see Lego Jedi Interceptors, especially a mini one. Um, I used to have a Revenge of the Sith one, but I remember trading it 
back when I had my old YouTube channel. I traded it. I don't remember what I traded it for, but I definitely regret trading it um, because it was a really old one. It wasn't. It wasn't even. I think it was like probably like two thousand. I want to say two thousand eight. I might be wrong, but it was a poly bag just like this. All right, guys, did the count, and I have fifteen of these poly bags which is a pretty decent collection. I'm pretty excited about that. That's pretty cool. I might add to it. I know I saw a Minecraft one at my local Target. I, I just don't, I really don't care about rarity. I just more care about adding to my collection. Just kind of that way in the next couple of years, like right now, currently, I haven't looked through this in a couple of years. So it's kind of cool to just kind of look back and see all what kind of ones I collected. But anyway, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful time. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button to get all the latest LEGO content that I create. See you guys in my next LEGO Star Wars video.